Good morning. Today I'll be updating the uh, hard drive in my MacBook Pro. I have a late model, 2011, 7200 RPM, 750 gigabytes. I'm going to be upgrading to the new and wonderful 1 terabyte solid state 840 Evo. Now what I've purchased to make this pretty easy is the Seagate Thunderbolt adapter. This is probably the cheapest adapter you can find for Thunderbolt. Most drives uh, running you about 300 and up. This adapter was about 83 on Amazon. Uh, it does not come with a cable, but you can pick up a half meter cable for 29 bucks. You don't need a very long cable if you're just transferring information. What's nice about this adapter is while it's made for the Seagate memory um, drives that you can purchase separately, you can fit any uh, SATA 3 adapter into it and it's powered. So we're going to be putting in this 840 Evo. Alright, we have a minor setback. The CD that Samsung came with uh, contains EXE files, so it's only built for Windows systems, Windows 8 and before, not um, Mac OS X. I did have a copy of Carbon Cloner, but they've since upgraded to 3.52, which uh, apparently the old version does not work on anything after Snow Leopard. Um, I remember that differently, but just to be safe, I'm going to use the free trial they have to go ahead and use Carbon Cloner 3.5.2. And we're going to make an exact clone. Uh, the reason I'm doing the exact clone is through Time Machine, you can have some trouble with your authentication for things like Adobe Lightroom and Photoshop. And I really don't want to deal with Adobe. I don't know if you've ever dealt with their customer service, but it's not exactly pleasurable. Um, it is efficient, but not pleasurable. So if we can avoid that and just, you know, migrate all of the data to the other hard disk using clone software, that would make my life easier. Um, we're not putting this on a different machine. We're not duplicating for the purposes of stealing software. We're only migrating our current hard drive to a new hard drive so that we can utilize the beautiful Evo 840. Okay, so I went ahead and initialized the drive. I renamed it to be identical to my Macintosh, just hoping that the uh, time machine backups don't get all hinky. One thing I noticed is in checking the source, it offered to temporarily archive modified and deleted items. I'm going to go ahead and keep that because I remember the drive saying something about it comes with some optimization software. And I'm not sure if that's all included in the CD or if there's possibly something saved on the hard drive itself. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and keep that clicked. And now I'm going to select clone and we can hopefully get this process started. Uh, one thing I noted is um, it doesn't let you select the Windows partition. So if you have a Windows partition like myself and you use it for, you know, ArcGIS, Borderlands, Steam, anything big and heavy on the Windows side, you're going to want to make sure you do a Win clone or some other type of Carbon Clone software just to preserve everything. Otherwise, you're going to have to use Windows backups, and they're not nearly as pretty as Time Machine. Now, I've gotten prompted for Carbon Copy Cloner. If I intend to use this as a primary startup, I need to create a Recovery HD partition. Um, I'm going to go ahead and do that. So I'm going to have to open Disk Center. So I'm going to click on Create a Recovery Partition for Mountain Lion. So here it gets. So it is complete. It took almost uh, three hours. It's about two hours thirty-eight minutes. But that's because I had almost five hundred gigabytes on my Mac side. Because I'm a fiend for harboring all of my raw photos. So here we go. Um, one thing to keep in mind, you'll want to also download or purchase some secondary software so that you can enable something called Trim for your solid state drive. Um, I'll go over that further in the blog, uh, provide some links because there's some experts that know a lot more than me. But it is something that you want to consider is changing the way that your machine runs now that it's no longer a hard drive um, that has moving parts, but now a solid state drive. So you don't want to do extra writing onto that disk if you don't need to. Okay, I entered my password, let it do the HD. It now says it's been uh, successfully cloned for the recovery portion. So now I should be able to just move on. Uh, let's see. I'm assuming I go back to uh, the other screen. Hmm. It's a little perplexing. So let's go back to information. No, encryption. Okay, so they're a little unclear. I'm assuming I just go back to Carbon Copy Cloner try it again. So she's booted up in the solid state drive using our little uh, ghetto fab rig. 
The only thing I saw hiccup was Dropbox. It wanted me to uh, verify or sign up, basically. But uh, Lightroom loaded just fine. If I try to actually just uh, boot up Lightroom right now, it's not prompting me for a key. So I have successfully migrated to the new hard drive without having to worry about all that authentication stuff, which can be really bothersome. Um, other software tests, um, hmm. I guess if you wanted like a speed test, let's uh, go ahead and open you know, Chrome or something. And it's up. It wants me to choose a website. Let's try Safari. Safari can get kind of sluggish. Yep, and she's up and running, so that's pretty nice. Um, this isn't a review of the solid state drive as much as how do you get that thing on there. So if you want to do benchmark tests and such, uh, I would Google YouTube. I, however, will not be doing those on this SSD because that just puts more wear and tear on a beautifully new drive. So thank you for watching, and I hope that you found this useful. Um, one other thing I did notice is I was not able to create the partition for Windows Boot Camp for this yet as a uh, fire up. So what I'll have to do is I'm going to take this to a local place so that I don't void my warranty to have it installed. Once it's done, I'm going to use my Win clone, and I'll post, a, or at least add to this video, whether Win clone was successful. Um, if it wasn't, then I'll have to find another way to migrate it from my old drive. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this. Thank you, 